Uh, I've had so many people want to buy it. You know, I've got a list in there of people that want to buy it. But yeah. the money just couldn't take the place of the memory. And If this old tractor could talk, it would tell the story of this man. He used that tractor like people use four-wheelers today. I mean, it was to go prepare fences. It was to go and if the cows got out, he would take it out. It was to plow fields. You know, it took him places, you know, where he couldn't get. For the pretty family, this 1950s vintage Ferguson is much more than a piece of farm machinery. A tractor is a part of the family, and it was a big part of this family. I mean, I, I always remember my dad having that tractor. The pretty name has been associated with this old general store for generations. So we sell a little variety of stuff. We have a little hardware, and we sell a few bolts and screws and the points. Elwood and his wife Pat six. took over the business from Elwood's parents. He loved small engines and uh, working on things. I mean, the old garage out there, he worked on cars and sold cars, but he dabbled in anything and everything. On July 5th, 1999, Elwood Pretty drove this tractor for the last time. It still sits where he parked it. He could have never imagined that 20 years later, it would still be sitting here. After all, he was only going to leave it long enough to go into town for a meeting. He had a lot of work left to do, you know, but uh, it, God had other plans for his life. He never returned to his beloved tractor. When Dad was in the accident, you know, when we lost Dad, what went with him was our revenue flow of the store, the McCulloch Chainsaw uh, business, the Snapper dealership, and the repair shop. And I mean, we just didn't know. We were just kind of in here, just kind of getting a feel for everything, not knowing how things work. But we struggled. I mean, it was really, really hard to keep everything going. And the old tractor doesn't just sit silently. It speaks volumes of a man and the legacy he left behind. I mean, it's part of it. Yeah. It's part of it. So I think Dad will forgive us for <laughs> leaving it sitting there. I hope so. <laughs> in Danbury, look at Roy's folks, Chad Tucker. Fox News.